Have you ever wondered why mountains stand so tall and how they came into existence? These towering marvels of nature, their tips often hidden in the clouds, are more than just magnificent landscapes. They are a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. Mountains in their simplest form are large landforms that rise above the surrounding land. They are generally characterized by their significant height and steep slopes, but not all mountains are created equal. There are various types of mountains, each with unique characteristics and formation processes. First, we have fold mountains, the most common type. These are created when two tectonic plates collide and the edges crumple, just like a sheet of paper folds when you push its ends together. The Himalayas and the Rocky Mountains are classic examples of fold mountains. Next are fault block mountains, formed when faults or cracks in the Earth's crust force some materials or blocks of rock up and others down. Think of the Sierra Nevada range in North America with its sharp, rugged peaks and valleys. Then we have dome mountains, formed when magma pushes up from beneath the Earth's crust but doesn't break through. The Black Hills of South Dakota are an example of this type. Volcanic mountains, as the name implies, are formed from volcanic activity. When a volcano erupts, it spews out lava, ash, and other materials that pile up over time, creating a mountain. Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount St. Helens in the U.S. are among the well-known volcanic mountains. Plateau mountains, often called dissected plateaus, are formed by erosion. The Appalachian Mountains are an example of plateau mountains. Lastly, we have uplifted mountains. These are formed when large regions of land are forced upwards by internal geological processes. The Colorado Plateau in the United States is a fine example of this kind. Mountains are not just random elevations on Earth's surface. They are the result of intricate geological processes. Each mountain type has a unique story to tell, a story of our Earth's history and the powerful forces shaping it. So, how do these majestic structures form, you ask? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of geology to find out. Mountains are born out of the Earth's restlessness. Their formation takes place over millions of years through a variety of geological processes. The two primary types of mountains we'll focus on are fold mountains and volcanic mountains. Let's start with fold mountains. Picture the Earth's crust as a giant solid tablecloth. Now, imagine what happens when you push two ends of that tablecloth towards each other. It crinkles and folds, right? That's essentially how fold mountains form. Two tectonic plates in the Earth's crust collide, and the pressure forces the land to crumple and rise upwards, creating a series of peaks and valleys. The Himalayas, the Andes, and the Rockies are all examples of fold mountains. Now onto volcanic mountains. These mountains form when molten rock or magma erupts from a crack in the Earth's crust. Once the magma reaches the surface, it cools and hardens, creating a new layer of rock. Over time, repeated eruptions cause these layers to build up, forming a mountain. Some of the most well-known volcanic mountains include Mount Fuji in Japan, Mount St. Helens in the United States, and Mount Etna in Italy. But the story of mountain formation doesn't end there. Erosion also plays a significant role. Over time, wind, water, and ice wear away at the mountain, sculpting it into the shape we see today. It's a slow process, but an essential one, as it balances out the Earth's continuous mountain-building activities. And there you have it. From the collision of tectonic plates to the fiery eruptions of volcanoes and the persistent carving of erosion, mountains are continuously forming, changing, and shaping our planet's landscape. As we can see, the formation of mountains is a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet. Beyond their breathtaking beauty, Mountains play a crucial role in our world, but how, you might ask? Let's delve into that. Mountains are not just magnificent landscapes for us to admire and explore. They are, in fact, environmental powerhouses. These natural skyscrapers are critical for maintaining our planet's biodiversity. They serve as unique habitats for countless species, many of which are found nowhere else in the world. From the snow leopard in the Himalayas to the Andean condor in South America, Mountains are teeming with life, providing shelter and sustenance to a myriad of creatures. But the significance of mountains extends far beyond biodiversity. They also play a vital role in the water cycle. 
Did you know that more than half of humanity relies on mountain-fed water systems? Mountains capture water from the atmosphere and store it as snow and ice, slowly releasing it into rivers and groundwater reserves. This process quenches the thirst of billions and irrigates the fields that feed us. Moreover, mountains act as nature's climate regulators. Their elevation creates different climate zones, influencing weather patterns around the globe. These towering giants also act as carbon sinks, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and helping to mitigate climate change. Quite astonishing, don't you think? And let's not forget, mountains are the birthplaces of many of the world's great rivers, from the Mississippi to the Ganges, shaping landscapes and nurturing ecosystems along their courses. But their significance doesn't end there. Mountains also hold cultural and spiritual importance for numerous communities worldwide. They are places of worship, inspiration, and pilgrimage, deeply intertwined with our collective human history and identity. So the next time you gaze upon a mountain, remember this. You're looking at a vital life support system, a system that shelters countless species, quenches our thirst, feeds our lands, influences our weather, and even helps combat climate change. Mountains indeed are the lifeline of our planet, nurturing biodiversity and regulating climate. They are more than just scenic vistas. They are the silent guardians of our world. Mountains don't just shape our landscapes, they shape our societies too. Mountains have always been a significant part of human civilization. Their towering peaks and expansive ranges have not only provided us with natural resources, but also influenced our culture, art, and even religion. Think about it for a moment. Many of the world's most thriving civilizations have taken root in the shadow of mountains. These majestic formations are rich in minerals and resources giving our ancestors the materials they needed to forge tools, build homes, and advance their societies. Over time, these communities developed a deep connection with the mountains, respecting them as sources of life and prosperity. But the mountains' influence doesn't stop at the material level. They have also inspired our imagination and creativity. Artists and poets have been mesmerized by their grandeur, crafting masterpieces that capture the mountain's ethereal beauty. In literature, mountains often symbolize challenges to overcome or spiritual heights to reach, enriching our collective narratives. Religiously, mountains have often been considered sacred. From Mount Olympus, home of the Greek gods, to Mount Sinai, where Moses received the Ten Commandments, mountains have often been seen as the dwelling places of the divine. Even today, Many cultures hold mountains in high esteem as places of pilgrimage and spiritual retreat. On a more contemporary note, mountains have become magnets for tourism and recreation. Every year, millions of people flock to these natural wonders to ski, hike, or just enjoy the breathtaking views. The tourism industry in turn creates jobs and supports local economies, demonstrating how mountains continue to shape human societies. In short, Mountains are much more than stunning geological formations. They are reservoirs of resources, inspirations for art and culture, sanctuaries for spirituality, and hubs for tourism and recreation. They have been with us since the dawn of time, shaping the way we live, think, and interact with the world around us. Mountains are not just part of our geography, they are part of our history, culture, and identity. So, what have we learned about these towering wonders? We've journeyed through a world of majestic mountains, discovering that these aren't just random piles of rocks, but intricate structures shaped by the forces of nature over millions of years. We've delved into the heart of the earth where the birth of mountains begins. Their formation is a testament to the awe-inspiring power of geological processes, a dance between the earth's crust and its tectonic plates. As these plates collide, crumple, and fold, they give birth to the breathtaking peaks and ranges that adorn our planet. Each mountain is unique, with its own story to tell. Some are born from violent volcanic eruptions, their fiery origins evident in their rugged landscapes. Others arise from the slow but relentless push of tectonic forces, their lofty heights a testament to the persistence of nature. Then there are those sculpted by the grinding power of glaciers, 
their smooth, rounded forms a stark contrast to their more jagged counterparts. But mountains are more than just geological wonders. They are vital life support systems, playing a crucial role in sustaining the Earth's biodiversity. They are home to a plethora of plant and animal species, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. They are the water towers of the world, storing precious fresh water in the form of snow and ice, and releasing it into rivers and streams that quench the thirst of billions. Mountains also hold profound significance for us humans. They have shaped our societies and cultures in countless ways, from providing resources and inspiring myths and legends, to challenging us with their unforgiving terrains and extreme weather. They remind us of our place in the natural world, humbling us with their grandeur and inspiring us with their beauty. Next time you gaze upon a mountain, remember it's not just a pile of rocks, it's a living, breathing entity that plays a vital role in our world.